On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on the new aftermarket part for the Bruin MK9 that turns this LMG into a stealthy and mobile killing machine. Let's go test it out. Well, before we can go in and test out the new aftermarket part, we gotta unlock it first. And luckily, the challenges to unlock this aftermarket part are very simple. It's just getting kills with a recommended LMG in a bunch of different ways, like aiming down sights and critical kills, getting kills with cryo freeze, and just getting kills in general. And since I've been playing a bit since this update's been out, I've already completed two of the weekly challenges that were actually pretty easy to complete, but... I'm very close on completing the 150 mark kills, so I'll be doing that as well. Because currently, there's a King Kong Godzilla event going on right now, where if you get a certain amount of XP, you'll get a camo for it. So, might as well complete all the challenges I can. But basically, for all these challenges, we can just get them done with this one Outlast. And to make it a little easier on myself, I am playing on controller for this game. So, I'm going to bring in Deadshot. It's absolutely busted on controller. It should help us get our critical kills very easily. And I got an extra mag of holding to throw around. So, why not? And we should probably throw on Crowd Freeze. Oh, we got our weapon challenge done. With Golden Enigma, that should be a little extra XP for us. And there's our 200 critical kills with the recommended LMG. There's our 300 kills while aiming down sights. There's our 750 kills with the recommended LMG. There's our five challenges. All right, we got it unlocked. But I'm just going to complete the rest of them just to maximize our XP. And we'll just complete this outlast real quick and take out the mercs. Give me my XP. There it is. Easy challenge. And there's our cryo freeze kills. We got every challenge done that we can. Oh, look at that. All these challenges done. That should be a fat chunk of XP. So how much do we get? Only 23,000? That's a lie. Oh, that's only as much as I needed to get this camo. I got 100,000 XP that game. All right, now that we got this aftermarket part unlocked, we can finally test it out. And from right now, what I'm seeing, we got 60 rounds in the mag. No way to change that. Why is the screen shaking? What's happening? Is King Kong and Godzilla fighting on the map right now? Let's hope that don't crash our game because I've been having enough of that. But as I was saying, we got 60 rounds in the mag with no way to change your mag attachments because it's part of this aftermarket part. And I don't think there's any other attachment that could increase your ammo capacity and it's currently at 300. And this is the event camo that we unlocked while we were getting this aftermarket part. And honestly, not the greatest. But let's go ahead and pack a punch it, upgrade it, and throw on our mag of holding. So that's 720 bullets. That's not bad. Now, I wasn't using the highest capacity attachments on our Bruin in our last game while we were unlocking this aftermarket part attachment, but the maximum ammo there was only 550, and this one's 720. So we already get a little bit of an improvement there on top of the improvement to our movement speed. And speaking of which, I normally put the builds for whatever weapon I'm using in the intro of the video, but since I've been seeing people asking about the builds, maybe they've been missing it, I'll just throw, up on, throw it up on screen right here for you guys. And this might not have been the best idea, but I try to make this thing as built for movement speed and like aim down sight speed as I possibly could. And I can kind of see a difference. Like running around with this, it doesn't seem like insanely slow. And it doesn't really look like the damage has fallen off a crazy amount because there's tier three zombies kind of leaking their way over here into tier two and we're, we're handling them as long as I can aim. And against these tier two zombies, they're going down almost instantly. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have the highest hopes for this. It just looked like some sort of aftermarket part that increased movement speed or movement in general. And I was thinking this might be more of a multiplayer aftermarket part because it has an integrated silencer in the barrel. But you guys know the drill. Let's go ahead and test this against a level two HVT. Mimic, I'm gonna need you to come out of hiding. Let's light you up. Oh, you know what? That's not bad damage already. I do not like fighting these guys inside, though, because they are very scary. They can rack up damage pretty quickly on us, but we're doing the same thing right back. It's already dead. And we're going to have to do a few of these bounties because for whatever reason, my containment level on this operator just completely reset. So I started off with no extra money and no discounts. And to make matters worse, this server is lagging like crazy. Even people in chat are talking about it. Bounty number two, how do you do? Oh, dead is how you're going to be doing. Night, night. We're like only getting mimics for these bounties. I mean, at least we know we can take them down easily. I want to try something different. We finally got something besides a mimic and we absolutely demolished it. And we got more than enough to get us pack three. And I guess on our way over to get it, we might as well pick up a contract since it's available. We'll grab this outlast and a little bit of a movement test on our way there. Can we outspeed everything besides a hellhound? It'd be crazy if I could outrun a hellhound with this. 
Yeah, it's not looking like it. Hellhound, you need to sit down. And there's like 45 people just waiting here at our outlast. They really want in on this. You know what? Fine. Let's uh, not join them, but I will invite all nearby players in. There, you guys can get some money from this. Oh, I still even grabbed pack three. I was so just preoccupied with them joining. Let's grab pack three on this. And what kind of damage are we doing to some tier three zombies? This is a fully armored one. And he just disappeared. You know what? You guys work on the contract. I'll be out here testing. How are we doing against these guys? Killing them relatively fast. Like hitting some headshots on them? Completely wipes them. Just knock that armored zombie all the way on his ass. There we go. Earned us a little bit of uh, walking around money. And not a whole lot else. Now I'm leaving the group. It's a pleasure serving with you. Let's pick up a quick tier three bounty and see how this does against it. Please be an abomination. That's what I'm talking about. Give this the ultimate test right away in tier three. Oh no. It spawned it right next to another abomination. We actually could get them to fight each other. I just want to see what kind of damage we're doing first. So a decoy to start because we know where he's going to laser. Go for it. There you go. Let's go right for the left mouth. Broke it almost immediately, but we are getting tag teamed. Triple teamed actually. Trying to mean to the Eiffel Tower. But Disciple, you got to go. Really don't need you here. And we need to run for our lives. Actually, Aether Shroud. Oh, we got some decent damage on him already. Okay, keep standing there. Let me light up your mouth. Let me put some work in on that jaw. And he's shooting another laser. Let's light him up. Try to use the zombies as cover. And it didn't work very well. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the damage. We got him to half health and not that long. It's just we got to try to avoid going down. Oh, and another laser. Let's work on the right head and it's gone. And this one's shooting a laser. Holy shit. He's got less than half health. I wish there was some armor on the ground. Okay, we're finding some. We're scavenging. Oh, but we're getting put into the blender. Holy shit. Stay back. Throwing sprinter zombies at me too. Running through the gauntlet. Oh, and he's going to shoot a laser? Yeah, take out your abomination friend with that laser. We'll use it to our advantage. Oh, now you're going to shoot one. There you go. I can take you both on easily. We are getting low on ammo. This is not good. Oh, found some on the ground. They're both lasering, but we can isolate this one for some good damage. And let's keep it moving. We still got three self revives. We're good. I'm stressing for nothing. We are fighting through the lag though. So anytime I go down, it's the lag. Anytime I beat something, it's all me and all skill. Like right about, ooh, I was about to say here. Uh, we are completely out of ammo now. He's literally a nut hair away from death. There we... Wait for it. Go. Perfect. Got them both. Legendary Aether tool for my troubles? No, but an ice pack crystal. Can't be that mad about it. Now time for the ultimate test. Can we take down the Stormcaller with this? If he's even still here. Where are you hiding at? Did somebody already kill you? Because I don't see you. You better still be alive. Because there's a lot of zombies in here. Is this you? No, that's my car. It looks like his glowing arms. No Stormcaller? Well, shit. He actually might be dead. Wow. Someone got to him before us. At least this can tear up zombies here in the storm. These are only like tier one, tier two zombies here in the storm, but they did get a significant health buff. Oh, well, Stormcaller, we'll get you next game. Back to tier three. Oh, you want to pick a fight with me right when I get in here? Fine. Your funeral. You already seen what we can do. You just barely escaped death last time. You despawned after I took out your buddy. You know what? Actually, no remorse for you. You're giving an ammo mod treatment. I even got all my perks yet, and you're about to get wiped. And this should be it right here. Night, night. All right. Let's just keep doing some bounties, because this thing's obviously a killing machine. And it's another abomination. My bread and butter. That's what we're looking for. I'll take out one of your heads, and then I'm going to go refill my ammo and my decoys. Jeez, this thing's kind of a monster. Already tearing through his health. On oh, another laser? Bet. That's another head down. Unless I die right here. Nope. Cool. Maybe just shoot another one, though. For fun. Go for it. Oh, that's another head broke. Damn, you suck. You and your ass beat. Keep shooting that laser. This is perfect, actually. I should use this building method more often. He's already dead. This thing's a slayer. If they're just going to keep spawning abominations near me, I'm just going to keep taking them out. This ain't nothing to me, man. I'm moving different. All in a day's work. And we got enough time to do one more bounty while we're here. That's another abomination. Damn. It's 
be like my fifth one in this game. And I'll happily kill more if I have to. They're just way too easy. I'm actually very confident in this gun now. Once we go to the Dark Aether with it, I feel like we're going to fly through everything. And this should be another one down. Easiest enemy in the game, dude. Still no legendary Aether tools from them, though. I know they're hiding them. Is there really just another one sitting here? Fine, I'll kill it. Last one. It's actually just way too easy. Take a look at how well this does against an entire horde of zombies right here. It just absolutely plows through them, especially if you're just focusing on getting your headshots. Takes them out instantly. Isn't that right, Disciple? But we need to go to the Dark Aether now. Look how bad I'm lagging. These servers have been so terrible. Dark Aether? Here we come. And this one's an Elder Sigil, so we gotta be quick with this. But with the way it's been performing, I am not scared at all. We're gonna make it through this super fast. And it's an Abomination. Who else will we get? And we got plenty of warm-up against Abominations. This should not be difficult at all. Already got a head broke. Easy. Disciple, you need to leave so you don't heal him up. We don't need any of that. Oh, and there's no laser. Beautiful. Let's work on the middle. I can't even tell where we're shooting at. Oh, we got him close to half health. I don't know if he broke a face, though. No, we definitely didn't. And another laser is coming out. Let's try to apply the pressure. There we go. Barely survived there. My health was literally on, like, one. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Shit. Drop me some. We're... Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to switch to my monkey bombs or my cashmere's because I'll lose my ability to use my decoys unless we find more. You know what? We're on a time crunch. I'll, I'll use one cashmere, one freebie. Because I need ammo now. Armor could help too. Alright, we should be good. Oh no. Alright, let's finish him off. No ditty. There's a laser. This should be it as long as we can hit these shots. It's kind of hard to tell where they're coming from. If it's not it, then it's at least going to be some good damage. Open your mouth, please. Stop being stubborn. Dude. You're starting to piss me off. Just die. Oh, now he's asking for it. Ooh, with the last bullet too. Nice. Didn't really get anything of use though. I really gotta focus more on killing zombies during those mega abomination fights. That way I don't run out of ammo like that. I just get so tunnel vision with my bloodlust that I gotta take them out. All right, out last time. Let's see how well we can do with this in an enclosed space with a bunch of zombies coming right at us. And we should probably hit fire it a bit. I think ADSing. Actually, this is a pretty decent ADS build. You just can't move around as fast. We can switch them between the two. It'll be a hybrid. Actually, let's meet in the middle. Tax stance. Tax stance when we gotta. Oh, shit. Gotta loop outside the building for a second. Excuse me, zombies. Oh, no. The pleasure's all mine, I guess. But it is just eating through these hordes. Like, it's ooh, peppering them with damage until a sprinter zombie makes their way around. I'm getting slapped around though. For as much as this thing is supposed to be like movement based, I am just getting torn up and hunted down. My training has also been awful right here. Let me get back on the wagon real quick. Oh shit. There we go, finished it. I better kill all of them. Did. And there's a Maggle holding for our trouble, perfect. The disciple effect's still going off on me and it's starting to annoy me. Leave me alone. I thought this thing only happened with uh, akimbo weapons. But we got less than seven minutes to complete this last contract. Let's knock it out. Activating Little monkey bomb. This is honestly just so easy. First rocket, done. Second rocket, done. And final rocket. Okay, they got in the way. I had to say it was easy. Just had to run my mouth. Now we're done. You know what? I was just trying to clear up some space for all these legendary aether tools we're about to get. Never mind. We're out of here. We're done. Get me out of here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, Stormcaller. Where you at? I swear if somebody also took you out in this game, I'm gonna be pissed. Show yourself. There's no way, dude. How is the Stormcaller taking out two games in a row? I even came in here early this time. Oh, there he is. He was just playing hard to get. Let's start lighting him up. Quick decoy. See if we can get this mask broken. There we go. How much damage are we doing to him? Actually, that's not bad. There's some better weapons out there for fighting him, but... This is dealing some pretty decent damage. Already got him to half health. Stopped them from healing pretty quickly. Let's take out a few zombies here so we can get an Aether Shroud. There we go. And let's continue our onslaught. This is still tearing through all the zombies in the storm. 
That was a good ass gun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, another Aether Shroud. Guess what? Who are you gonna heal from? No one. You just hit the perfect combo on him. Night, night. Easy game, dude. So overall opinion on this new aftermarket part for the Bruin, it's actually pretty good, especially with Mag of Holding. I think it actually might be better than the normal Bruin. I went into it with some pretty low expectations, just thinking it would be like a slight movement buff, but the damage seems good on it. The movement's decent on it. Like don't expect like SMG speeds, but it's around par with like the average AR or like mid tier AR in terms of movement speed. Damage is very good. It's got a good amount of ammo for the amount of damage that it does, but I did find myself going down quite a bit with it. So I don't know what I could have put differently on this weapon or how I could have built it differently, but overall, it's not too bad. This is actually a pretty decent aftermarket part, and I could see myself coming back and using this if I want to use an LMG, but I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.